This question is asking us to calculate what our GPS does for us automatically, and that's calculate our wind direction and speed. And it does that by comparing what the aircraft's actually doing in true airspeed and heading with what it's doing across the ground. In other words, the ground track and ground speed. The difference between what the aircraft's doing through the air and what it's doing relative to the ground, that's what our wind is. So we, we have to do a reverse triangulation problem. We could do that on graph paper, and we can also use our flight computer. So the question says, if a true heading of 135 degrees results in a ground track of 130, so we see we have a heading that's resulting in a different course, a different ground track, and a true airspeed of 135 knots results in a ground speed of 140, so we must have a tailwind. So what we need to do is use our flight computer, our E6B, We'll start by dialing in our ground track, which can also be called our true course of 130 degrees. And the ground speed of 140 knots will place beneath the grommet in the center. So our ground track is 130, our ground speed is 140. We know our heading is 5 degrees to the right because our heading is 135 degrees. So we know we have a crosswind from the right of five degrees. And we know that that wind is giving us a push of five knots. So wind correction angle five degrees to the right and our true air speed of 135 knots, we'll mark our wind dot right here. Then to read the wind, we just rotate this straight up like so. And we see our wind is from 246 degrees at 10, 12, 13 knots, 246 degrees and 13 knots. That's our correct answer.